several of us that go to church with uh, Senator Crosby here, and I didn't know um, what uh, Neil said about property rights on this particular issue. I talked to Senator Crosby because my concern after hearing a presentation uh, somewhere was about them pumping treated water into the aquifer below the Floridian. And, and so when I talked to him, that was my pitch to him. But what he told me, he knew absolutely nothing about the issue, except he named a person, and I, this was several months ago, I don't remember, he named a particular person, and he said, this person is credible to me, and he's for this, therefore I'm voting for it. And I asked him to reconsider and told him what I had learned. I think it was the Georgia Water Coalition I wrote with Dave, Dave to. So now. Yeah, that fits exactly with what Neil just said mm -hmm. about how legislators get their information. And so if we got the information to you on aquifer storage and recovery, which is an aspect of this, we, we only did half of our job because it, it would have been better for you to have been armed with the property rights yes. argument. Uh, and so that we can blame ourselves for that. And in fact, a little inside baseball, we have problems managing our own group um, <laughs> at the Capitol. Um, Neil and I agree 100% that Senate Bill 213 is fundamentally an attack on property rights. And the ASR aspect of it, that's why he didn't even mention it. The ASR aspect of it is secondary. That's how they steal the property rights. Right. What's the mm -hmm. ASR? And I'll come back to that in a second. It is purely secondary. True. Okay. It is not the primary argument. Now, it's a problem, and that's a fourth topic that we can address. But it is not the core problem with Senate Bill 213. Because you can augment water without ASR. You can augment water from a dam. You can augment water from a well in an aquifer and pump it in. You don't have to have ASR to augment water and then take control over it in a, literally in a fascist, government-controlled sort of way mm -hmm. and then tell people they can't pump. So we'll address ASR, but please keep in your mind that 213 involves ASR, but it's not fundamentally about ASR. Okay. I'm glad to know. And so we, we fell down on the job, and there's reasons for that. I mean, it's our, our job at the Capitol is not the most fun thing in the world, but sometimes it's because we're arguing with each other about what something is about, you know. But but Neil is correct. 213 is fundamentally about property rights. My and, and it's called the Flint River Drought Protection Act, but you need to understand that it has statewide implications. For your reference, Lowndes County also has four reps in the legislature. There's Amy Carter, whom you probably met, but she's one of the governor's floor leaders. Right. But she does show up back home sometimes, and she will talk to people. There's Ellis Black, who's been in there forever. There's Jason Shaw, who's an actual Army family. And then there's you the guy, Dexter Sharper, who represents Valdosta, a new district 177. He's looking for stuff to, to write bills about. So he's well worth talking to. And in the Senate, there's Tim Golden, who's also been in there forever. Now, the big plus about him is he's very pro-solar power, which is the opposite of these water-sucking coal and nuke plants. For your reference. 